Honestly, 2021 is off to a really shaky start and it's still shaky when we're like halfway through the amount of Marvel content for this year and most of it are TV shows and everything but honestly I'm just so disappointed by what we're getting. I wanted to make individual videos for each of the shows, WandaVision, Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, everything like that and I wrote notes down and everything. I wanted to make a video on John Walker specifically, my favourite character from Falcon and the Winter Soldier because that show had a lot of things going for it. It was one, one, uh, the one I was hyped for the most <laughs> but um, there's obviously a lot of people out there that think uh, WandaVision did a great job at showing Wanda's grief at you know expanding her powers, setting up for Doctor Strange 2 and everything like that. Loki setting up the multiverse all that kind of stuff and Falcon the Winter Soldier with the social commentary and everything and if you think that you think that that's great but honestly all these shows are just so disappointing to me I think I expected more going into it I expected them to be I expected them to really go into the characters really go into the story but also keep it small and uh, you know contained and I think Falcon and the Winter Soldier did that the best but at the same time that felt too heavy-handed at times it also felt very bland and boring at times it also did the characters really dirty how they name it Captain America and the Winter Soldier because they didn't want to take away from Sam Wilson becoming Captain America but then he completely just take away from Bucky Barnes's journey oh it's it's ridiculous like that and one division obviously Wanda's a terrible person in the show. I I don't sympathize for her whatsoever, but the show treats me like I do. But when I don't, I think she's did a terrible thing and she should have been punished, but she just gets away scot-free and everything like that. Um, so that was a huge mess. It was interesting, but I, I need a whole video for that, which I did do for WandaVision, but I just didn't do for Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Loki. And then you have Loki, and Loki, you know, started off great. But then it just falls apart. One, I think Loki and Sylvie's relationship, you know, if, if, if they were like, you know, finding your true self with, you know, the, each other, sure, but seeing how it's romantic, I just, I can't get on board with that. You have the whole midway through or something like that, midway through or so, uh, Sylvie sends off all these little, um, you know, the disruptor thingies to different timelines and it sparks all these timelines and everything. And that just gets solved like that. It's really poorly done. When they're on the planet that's being destroyed, suddenly there are all these meteorites falling. And then next thing you know, in the next few scenes, they're sitting down outside. They're not getting hit by meteorites. There's nothing falling near them. Everything, it's all fine and dandy. But um, it doesn't make sense like that. You have the whole thing where this is Loki from 2012 Avengers, but then he's acting like the Loki from Thor Ragnarok. It just doesn't work. Showing a little slideshow of his life. Go check out more of his videos. Go check out stuff he does. I love watching his videos. They go on forever, but they're so fun to see. But Loki, Loki just felt like it's a huge setup for what's to come. It didn't have a payoff on its own show, its own season. Sure, there's season two, but watching season one felt very like, oh, I got nothing out of it apart from just setting up other things to come down the line and that's bad for a TV show. If all you're doing is just setting up for something else, you failed as a TV show and I, that's why I think season 1 of Loki doesn't work because it's just setting up for something else. There was no payoff at the end of season 1. Um, and then you have What If with the first episode of What If, well only two episodes in so far. I wanted to talk, do this video later on but um, then not enough episodes of what if to come out but uh the first episode just felt like really boring because it's pretty much the captain america the first adventure all over again the second episode was good but the problem is i feel like what if should have been five minute shorts of like this one side character having this little its own little journey or something but then trying to condense a movie's worth or two movies worth of content into 30 minutes does not work it was cool seeing t'challa as star lord and how everything changed but you know, suddenly making Thanos really weak. I get he's weak in the comics, he's not actually this overly powerful character without the Infinity Stones. But you're trying to, you're really, Marvel's really trying hard to take away from Thanos. Saying that Loki, everything before, um, you know, Loki, no characters had free will. Everything before Endgame, all these Iron Man movies, Captain America movies, Thor movies, all these, you know, even the Black Widow movie that I'm going to talk about later on. That all happened because it had to happen and it had to happen a certain way. It didn't happen because the characters had free will. And that's one of the biggest problems I have with Loki. But then what if, we'll see what's going on if the episodes continue like episode 2. They'll at least be entertaining but still flawed in that it's too rushed for what it is. And then let's get to the Black Widow movie because that's the only movie we have so far on Phase 4. I'm not excited for Eternals. I'm hyped for Shang-Chi. was always hyped for that. I'm hoping that's really good at least. But Black Widow is disappointing. 
the writing was really off. If everything was like the opening scene, I think I'd like it more. But it just was such a huge mess. Characters made decisions for no real reasons. I don't know why Natasha and her sister fight in the apartment. It's so random and stupid. I don't know why the boss has his pheromones stopping people from hurting him. Just go to the other side of the room and shoot him. That's what I was thinking when I was watching it. It was so stupid. Um, and it just, it just... It felt very pointless and useless. Taskmaster was disappointing. There's a lot of other writing points I could get into, but overall the movie was just, it was eh. I expected more from it and I wanted more from it. You know, I think Black Widow is a cool character. I love all the original six Avengers. I'm hyped for the whole Kai TV show. So I'm not one of those people that are like, only care about the four with superpowers and everything like that. Nah, there, there we go. There's a quick rant, a quick talk about how 2021 for Marvel is going so far. It's such a huge mess. I really hope Marvel, you know, with Eternals, uh, there was just a trailer the other day for that, a new one. And then Shang-Chi, when we get Spider-Man, eventually we'll get the trailer for that as well, I guess. Um, when those come out, hopefully it picks up. Hopefully What If continues to go, get even better and better and better. But overall, Marvel's off and just doing really mediocre work for 2021. And I'm afraid that hopefully they didn't just peak with the Infinity Saga and then now they're just snowballing down the hill. But yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. What are you thinking about the content we have so far from Marvel? But hopefully it's enough for you guys to get an idea of what I think about, you know, Marvel this year itself. Because I, I love watching the Marvel movies and everything. So make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And until next time, I'll see us.